Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do an unboxing of a brand new and factory sealed VHS tape that I picked up at a thrift store, 25 cents as you can see right there. So this was very cheap and uh, I just couldn't pass it up for the price. Now this isn't one that I necessarily you know, need to have in my collection or anything. I'm not uh, really a VHS tape collector. This is just one that I saw and I'm like, you know what, I just, I just got to check this out. Um, I thought it might make kind of a cool video. Um, since it's, uh, I don't think it's necessarily a super rare find, but I haven't, I don't come across, I haven't come across this uh, very frequently in um, any thrift store. So I thought it was just a cool find. So uh, I thought I would just show it to you guys. So here's just a good look at it while it's sealed, and you can see the 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 um, the shrink wrap's a little bit warped right here. I'm guessing there might have been a, either a previous price tag or some some other sort of sticker right there. Um, not sure, but probably. And then there's the side, and then here's the back. Then the top, and then the bottom. So I just wanted to give you a good look at that before opening it up. So I think I'm going to open this up, and then, uh, then I'll give you kind of a look at the whole thing one more time. Let's see if I can uh, get this out here. Okay, nice and easy, and um, there we have it. So I'll show you a good look at the front here. You can see that it has this United States Postal Service Priority Mail uh, label along the top, and it also has that in the back right here as well. So I really don't know the history of this, honestly. Um, this particular tape, it, I, it obviously it's associated with the mail in some way. I don't know if it was some sort of mail promotional thing, probably. But I, I'll be honest, I don't really know the history of it, but it's, you know, it's there nonetheless. So, but uh, taking a look at the front artwork here, it's just really, it's really nice. It's that classic, you know, family home entertainment um, type of artwork and everything. It's the Christmas classic series, that whole thing. And um, really back, brings me back to my childhood. So I, I don't know exactly what year this came out. It looks like it's got a copyright of 1996. That sounds about right. You know, I was a 90s kid, that's when I grew up, and this is the artwork that I remember on, you know, all these uh, Christmas, these classic uh, Rankin-Bass Christmas films back in the day. That's what, that's exactly what I grew up with, so I love it. Um, I know there's uh, a lot older VHS tapes that have older style artwork, and now we've got DVDs and Blu-rays um, of all these specials and so forth, so, but this is kind of reminiscent of my childhood, so, um, once again, there's a quick look at the front. I think it's really, just really nice artwork. Um, and I probably am biased just because it is kind of a childhood uh, thing that I grew up with to some degree, but um, I don't know, I just really like it. So anyway, there's the uh, spine there. And then here is a look at the back. And basically what this is, is it's a fairly short movie, 24 minutes. I've never actually watched this, you know, sing-along thing. Um, but it's, uh, you know, I've seen all the movies that have all these sing-along songs in them. So, but this is from the original TV specials, 10 musical Yuletide treasures featuring the 10 voices of Fred Astaire, Jimmy Durant, and Burl Ives. And you can see a listing of the songs there. So it has, you know, a lot of the main favorites from, um, from, you know, I guess, I guess I don't know which movies, obviously, obviously it has uh, Rudolph and Frosty in here. Um, Santa Claus is coming to town. It's got at least a couple from there. Holly Jolly Christmas, that's from Rudolph. First Toy Maker to the King, I think that's from Santa Claus is coming to town. I forget some of these. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's just from those three films, but maybe there's a few more. I, I'm just not sure. But anyways, there is a listing of the songs. And um, yeah, running time 24 minutes, 1996. It's got the Golden Books logo. Live entertainment, I don't really remember, but the Family Home Entertainment logo is classic to me. Um, so there's that. And with that all said, let's take a look at the VHS tape itself. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of tape in here. It's a pretty short film. And I don't know what uh, recording mode this um, this is in. It almost looks like it's in the SLP, you know, or EP super low play mode just because of how little tape there is in here. 
you know, usually a, a 24 minute or close to 30 minute tape, I would expect to be, you know, just a little bit more tape if it was in that uh, SP faster mode or normal mode, I guess you could say. Um, but here's a look at the bottom and just a kind of quick look all around the VHS, uh, VHS tape. It's, it's a, you know, it's your standard VHS tape, so, um, but it just doesn't have a whole lot of tape in it because it's a pretty short feature, so. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought this would be a fun one for the holidays to pick up, especially just for 25 cents at a thrift shop. Um, hard to beat that. So um, there it was, Rudolph Frosty and Friends sing-along from the United States Postal Service, I guess. Um, some sort of promotional tape or something like that, but anyways, there it is. Um, once again, love the artwork, and uh, that's about all I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next video.